What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, ATH The Great, man. Back here with another response video, man, to uh, my boy, Extravagant. Um, the question he asked uh, was uh, the, the teams of the decade um, from the 80s, uh, the 90s, and also the 2000s. Um, <clears throat> for the most part, I agree with the, with the picks you had, but... Uh, I got just a couple of different ones here, uh, so we'll go ahead and get right into it. I'm just trying to find uh, his uh, thing here to make sure that I got the name uh, of the response video right, which I'm pretty sure I think I did. So we'll go ahead and get into it. Uh, yeah, so from... Uh, the 80s in the West, I'm with you. The Lakers, yes. Showtime, yes. Uh, also, and that's from the West. From the East, again, I agree with you so far as the Seas, the Celtics. Uh, uh, no, uh, I wasn't a Celtics fan then, but, uh, you know, well, I'm still not one now. Uh, but anyway, um yeah, I think, yeah, the Larry Bird, Larry the Legend, you know what I'm saying? He, whew, yeah, man, they they uh, brought basketball back, you know, when it was on its downfall, him and Magic alone, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so, you know, in the 80s, now the 90s, we already know in the East, MJ and the Bulls, we already know that, uh, man, you know, uh, six titles, pretty much no more to be said you know what I'm saying uh, but in the west though in the 90's you know I I mean there were some teams that were they may not necessarily win any championships during that time but they were always at the top of the standings um, you know what I'm saying in that time you know you also gotta throw uh, the Knicks uh, as a dominant team, other than you know the '90s, them, those '90s Knicks teams were really good. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know the late '80s, early '90s, the Bad Boy Pistons. You have to put those guys in there. Uh, who else in the East? Uh, you know, nobody can really fuck with the Pacers then too. You know, the Pacers. We all know with the Knicks and the Pacers. Uh, the series that they had, the you know the the type of series they had going back and forth. Um, man, who who else in uh, in the East? I I know I'm probably forgetting. You know, and those teams they really didn't, you know, necessarily win it all. But you know, they were always there. You know what I'm saying? Like they were always on the cusp of, you know, getting to that championship or whatnot. And may just, you know, we know with the Knicks, Patrick Ewing. Uh, Ewing, you know, with the missed layup, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, and Reggie's been there, you know, he's one of those guys, man, you know, like I, you know, like we said before, you know, I wish, you know, he probably could have got one, um, let's see, and as so far as the West, yes, the Houston Rockets, they got the two rings, but it was a couple other teams, uh, in the 90s that were pretty good, uh, when uh, Sir Charles played for the Suns, uh, they were pretty good uh, during that time. Um, the Seattle Supersonics, when they had Sean Kemp and uh, and Gary Payton, I'm talking about the the old school uniform wearing Sonics. You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, what not? Yeah, I know that they got their butts trounced. Uh, you know, in the first round by the Denver Nuggets, and besides, in the '90s, that was that was my team, was the uh, Seattle SuperSonics. Uh, I was a huge Sean Kemp fan then. Um, so yeah, you know those uh, teams there now for the 2000s. You know, in the East, you know I, the Pistons. Yep, with Chauncey Billups and those guys. Yes, those were those were some good teams. Uh, I also have to do uh, the Lakers from the West, yes. Um, going back to the East, I have to say 
Kevin Garnett, the big three, Kevin Garnett, uh, whose jersey I have on now, Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, and uh, Ray Allen. Those those Celtic teams were always there too. They only got one ring out of out of their whole you know uh, time together, but the whole time they still were dominant. They were always there, you know, at, at the end. Um, I have to also say uh, in the West. Even though I'm from here and I don't too much support the team, and that is the Spurs. I mean, three titles, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I know they got the one in late 99 and then 2000 and then, you know, 2003, 2005, 2007. Uh, so, yeah, I have to throw the Spurs in there too. Uh, you know, Tim Duncan, you know, Manu. Uh, you know, even like I said, that first championship they won with uh, with David Robinson and uh, and Avery Johnson and those guys. You know, yeah. So I have to throw the Spurs in there uh, for you know from 2000 to 2010. You know, as well. Um, I mean, I know it's more other teams out there. You know that were really good. You know, during those times, and they may just never got that ring but you know they were still you know dominant you know what I'm saying I mean I can name off some other teams we can I mean y'all guys may disagree but you know coming from we can also say when Steve Nash and Amari was with the Suns like you know they those guys were were hard to beat you know what I'm saying for for a little while even though they would get to the playoffs and, and choke but you know they were always having you know uh one of the best records, you know, and, you know, and always maybe a one or a two, no, no lower than three, you know, C, you know, not that I know of. Uh, I mean, you can even throw the Mavs in there too, you know, because I think until the Mavs, the Mavs were always at the top, you know what I'm saying, until they won their, their, they finally got their championship. And then this year they just, you know, they're, you know, back, you know, they're, you know, they ain't as sorry as they used to be, but, you know what I'm saying, they're still, you know, at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, that's where they're going because I don't see them doing anything, you know, at, at all. Um, you know, uh, it, it's going to be cool to see, you know, I mean, from 2010 on, I mean, that's, you know, that's kind of an easy question. <laughs> we all know it's the Miami Heat, you know, uh <laughs> It's them there. They're kind of there by themselves right now. You know, we'll see what, you know, with the additions of, you know, my boy KG and, you know, and Paul Pierce to the Nets and stuff like that. And, you know, but, of course, I, that might not even last too long, maybe a year or two. And, you know, but, uh, yeah, you know, those are my, you know, my my responses to uh, the extravagant uh, uh, questions, you know, teams of the, of the decade, NBA style. So, uh, go ahead and end this video. I hope y'all guys have a great day. I am about to go get in the heat. Ugh. So, uh, y'all guys take it easy, man. And y'all have a good day. It's your boy HH the Great, man. And I'm at <laughs>